Happening this Sunday, the Montgomery County Historical Society is planning a major event and it's for the entire community to take part. Joining us live now over Zoom is Pat Clark, Executive Director of the Montgomery County Historical Society. Pat, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Oh, good morning and thank you for having me. What can folks expect at this big event? Well, I expect that there will be some wonderful anecdotes from the people who actually engineered the moving of this old house. It's hard to imagine a brick house that's three stories tall being scooted around for three blocks. And it took two moving companies to do it. And there were a lot of funny things that happened over that three day event. And I'm hoping that a lot of the attendees, particularly the house movers and the restorers and the engineers who actually did it, will tell us some of the tricks of the trade and, and things that they ran into. I understand that the Olympic torch came through and put a little wrinkle in their plans. And that's part of the fun. And we'll be running um, a video in the background of the actual event. It was three days and it got condensed to 18 hours. We now have a three hour video and we have a four minute teaser, but we also want everybody in the community who even remembers it or has any recollection of it to, to share their photographs and things and let us do a slideshow to show everything that everybody remembers if we can. I've heard a lot of fun stories about people who sat for three days watching this happen. So we're hoping to bring back the movers and shakers, literally, who did this. And it'll be at two o'clock on Sunday afternoon here at the Five Picket Barn Schoolhouse. We're at the corner of Court and Mildred Streets. And we do have a lift up to our main floor, which is from the front porch. And it, it can take one person in chair at a time. And we hope all of you, even if you need it, will come and take advantage of that. We're gonna serve coffee and pie and tea and have a nice informal anecdotal gathering where the audience can talk as well as the panelists at the round table. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful home. home. Go oh, ahead. Thank you, it is. If you want to come though, our seating is gonna be limited. Uh, we'll be able to put up about 80 chairs in this room. So I would like for those who want to come to give us a call at the Historical Society. The number is 334-264. 1837, the year the house was built, and just leave a message and tell us you want a seat and we'll save one for you. There is so much history in this home. Tell us about a little bit of its past and what it means to you and the city of Montgomery. Oh, it's the oldest brick dwelling still remaining in Montgomery. And it got preserved thanks to the Historical Society back in, uh, who formed in 92 and in 95, they discovered that the US government was going to demolish it so they could build a new courthouse, federal courthouse, and it had to be removed. So um, the Historical Society was able to talk them into paying for relocation of the house rather than demolition. So it has been preserved. And so we've got it in its glory now, you can see a picture there of it, and we're doing our best to restore it back to its early life. Originally, it was the home of John P. Phi, who owned Bricks Works and did a lot of the magnificent buildings around Montgomery and even built the University of Alabama at Tuscaloosa. So he's very, very famous. And then he turned it over to the Pickett family, he sold it to them. And you can see a, a copy of the floor there, a picture of the tile, which is marble and slate that came from the original Capitol building that burned down in 1850. And uh, John Fye, our builder, was uh, instrumental in restoring or rebuilding the new capital. So he was able to save those tiles and put them in the basement of his home. So we have them. And it's maybe one of the few real replicas from that building. Uh, at any rate, we are doing our best to save Montgomery's history here. Even though this house has been a lot of things, it was a residence, obviously. Then it became barn school for boys. It's been an insurance agency, a paint store, a convenience store, um, all sorts of things, uh, even a church along the way. So we've tried to take it back to about its 1890s when the Pickett's lived here. Albert Pickett was the first Alabama historian and he bought the house from Phi. 
His wife got to move in, but he unfortunately died before he could get moved in. Just so, so much history like, right there. And I know folks are going to want to check this out and, and come and tell some of those stories that you shared with us today once again. So give us those details one more time if folks want to come to this event. Okay, just call 334-264-1837. Leave us a voice message and we will make sure that we take that down and save you a seat. If you'd like to go onto our website, www.mchsal.org, actually it'd probably be easier to just go info at mchsal.org and leave us a message there and that will come straight to me so I can add your name to the list that way too. All so right, Pat. We hope everybody will hear this. Thank you. All right, Pat, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you.